This video is intended for Kuman Fisher's West student. Um, today we are going to do um, level C, page 183. We're going to, we are going to take a look at a few pages that are related to that. Um, page 183 is towards the end of level C and on this level you've learned how to do the multiplication problem both horizontally and vertically and we move into this division problem right around at the half point of this level and it starts out very very easy with a single digit division and then we do a double digit divided by single digit division all for, uh, horizontally like this and then at one point we we'll start to show you how those horizontal division skills that you've developed can also be expressed vertically, uh, which allow us, which would allow us to work with a lot larger number sets. Uh, and you'll pick that up right around page 161, moving into 170. But at 180, things start to change where the numbers become larger. We would have three digit divided by one digit, rather than similar to something like this, where you would have two digit divided by one digit. Um, many students sometimes get a little scared and a little um, um, intimidated by the sheer size of the numbers, but I'd like to so show you today how, the, how solving this kind of problems are just about the same as solving this kind of two digit divided by one digit problems. So before we get into problems like this, let's review how two digit divided by one digit um, actually works. Before we start, anytime you see a division problems like this, I want you to imagine that there are spaces right about each one of these numbers where you could potentially put your answers down, similar to here and similar to here. Now, let's go back to number one. Let's start. You would always start with the left side of the number. What's two divided by two? I hope you said it's one. What's four divided by two? It's two. That's because two times two is four and that's clean division. 24 divided by 2 is 12. What about number 6? Let's start with this first space again. What's 3 divided by 3? It is 1. And what is another 3 divided by 3? It's 1. So the answer to the question 33 divided by 3 is 11. But not all problems as you know are this clean. Sometimes you would have to work with the remainder because you won't have a clean division like these two problems. For example, let's go to this one uh, where the problem is 25 divided by 2. Again, you would imagine two spaces, one above each one of these digits, and we are always going to start with the left side. What's 2 divided by 2? It's 1. What's 5 divided by 2? We know that the answer there is 2 remainder 1 because 2 times 2 is a 4 not a 5 and the difference between 4 and 5 is 1 so there the remainder is 1. Um, I'm not going to um, go into the uh, explanations of the remainders because you should have picked that up from way early around page 115 or so and there might be another video coming just in case uh, you didn't fully understand that um, but the purpose of this video is to show you how we can uh, carry this kind of division technique into doing something that are more difficult, something that appears to be more difficult but they really are not. So let's evaluate this one. Page 183, number one. There are three numbers there, so I want you to imagine three potential spaces where we can put our answers. Um, Kumon had initial, has initially uh, skipped that one, but let me show you why. Can one be divided by two? No, because a, a 2 cannot go into a 1. So we will skip that space, but we cannot skip the 1 itself. So when we move on to the next spot, we would have to deal with both 1 and 8. So it's 18. What is 18 divided by 2? It is a 9, because 2 times 9 is 18. And let's move on to the next number. What's 6 divided by 2? And I hope you said 3. So the answer to the question, 186 divided by 2 is 93. Okay? So let's start, let's do number 2. We got 246 divided by 2. 
Imagine three spaces right above it. You don't have to draw those squares, if you can imagine those squares. Um, what's 2 divided by 2? It's 1, so we don't skip that one, because we can actually do that division right there. What's 4 divided by 2? That's a 2. What's 6 divided by 2? That's 3. So the answer to 246 divided by 2 is 123. Let's jump down here to number 8, which is supposed to be the most difficult problem on this page. Let's imagine once again that there are three spaces right above each one of these. Let's see. Do we need, do we need to use the first space? Can the 3 go into a 9? Yep. So the question is how many times? We figure that out by doing our division. What's 9 divided by 3? It's a 3. What's 6 divided by 3? It's a 2. What's 3 divided by 3? It's 1. So the answer to 963 divided by 3 is 321. Let's see. Let's jump way down to page now 185. Now things can be a little bit different here. Uh, for example, let's compare number 1 and number 5. Again, we are going to imagine that there are three potential places where we can put down our answers because there are three digits inside the division sign. So let's go and see what, what happens when we actually do our divisions. What's 6 divided by 2? I hope you said 3 there again. And what's 4 divided by 2? And that would be a 2. What is 2 divided by 2? That will be 1. So the answer to the question, 642 divided by 2 is 3, 321. But this one is a little bit different. Again, we start by imagining three spaces, one above each, one of each, each digit inside the division sign. What's 6 divided by 6? It's 1. What's 7 divided by 6? Oh, that's not a perfect match. But we know that 7 divided by 6 is 1, remainder 1, right? So this is how that remainder works. The remainder of 1 is added to this 2. So when you go to the next step with this 2, you would have to deal with a 12 where the 1 came from that 7. So here, it's 12 divided by 6, which is 2. If that's too confusing to you, and this is how you should do it. Let's do um, number 2 here. Let's jump down to number 2. Again, we have three potential spaces where we can put our answers down. What's 6 divided by 3? And you know that that's 2. But I want you to do it this way. Well, after you put your 2 down there, I want you to do your actual multiplications. What's 3 times 2? That's a 6. So then you put a 6 right below this 6, lining up this 2, 6, and 6. And then you do your subtractions for these numbers, which is 0 or nothing. And when you move on to the next answer spot, you bring down the division number which is 4. Then you say to yourself, what is 4 divided by 3? It's a 1. Remainder 1. So this is how you do it. 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Then you will do another subtraction there. Then you would have 1. Because 4 minus 3 is 1. And then let's tackle this very last space. In order to do that, we've got to bring this number way down next to this 1, which makes 12. So I so our problem now is, what's 12 divided by 3, which is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. When you do your subtractions, you get 0. So everything divides out very evenly. So, so the answer to the question, 642 divided by 3, is 214. That's how this is done.